and welcome back to the channel. It's another beautiful morning here down on the Yorkshire coast. Hi, I'm at my favorite place as always at Raven's Car. Uh, I apologize in advance. We came here an awful lot last year. Uh, I love the place because we get a lot of rare fossils, uh, but this year I have promised to branch out a bit more. And so I'll be doing a few more places on the coast a bit more often. Uh, I haven't been out very much recently because I've been away for the holidays, but also I've had a pesky chest cold uh, and that's only just starting to shift. Uh, so I might have a bit of an adventure climbing back up the hill whilst coughing, but in the meantime, we'll make sure we can find some cool fossils. So hang around uh, and we'll be back with you when we've got something to show off. And starting the day off strong with a nice little hildy, uh, a bit broken at the bottom, uh, as you can see there, but not too bad. That's a good start. That'll stay on the beach though. Uh, but I'm not going to complain. A uh, usual reminder at Raven's Car, uh, the bedrock's all triple SI protected, uh, but loose rocks you can dig through. And so it looks like someone's had a go at this already. Um, they got what looks like a nice bellonite with a fragment coming out. I don't know if the tip was left in there, but hopefully not. Uh, another nice bit of bellonite and a bit of a hildy there. Uh, I'm not going to dig any of these out. Uh, I'm quite happy for them to be left for people to enjoy. Uh, first sign is some Gramoceros, one of these rare species that you only get at Ravenscar, at least in the Yorkshire coast. Um, but sadly, the block that I was in exploded into lots of pieces, so uh, just going to leave that there. This rock's obviously been wearing around a while. Uh, you can see it's a very different colour to a lot of the other greys. Uh, it's got a lot lighter. And places like Port Mogra, that's normally a pretty good indicator that there's an ammonite in it. And you can see a keel there. Although that looks a bit like a Gramoceros keel, so uh, we probably will take that one. Because that should be pretty good there. Might be another one on this side. Uh, but we'll take it. And the nice bivalve just sitting on the top there. Uh, sadly, just enough of its shells worn away uh, that I don't think it'll be worth taking. But shame, because it would have been quite a nice piece. A bit big, but would have looked good. It's not particularly big, but that's a cute little uh, pseudo multi block. So one there, a little tiny one there, a little pseudo bulbians. Nice. Uh, as always, I like finding blue-white ammonites just because they always give me a challenge. Uh, there's another one just visible here uh, going into the rock. I think it's all gone, but I might just take a little chisel into this. It's a big loose block. It's from way up the cliff. Um, but we'll just have a look if there's anything more to that. So sadly, whilst breaking it down, there was a bit more exposed. Uh, the middle popped, uh, but the middle does not look good and not worth, sadly, collecting. That grammar took me a lot more effort than I'm proud of to get to that point, but uh, it's got some nice colors and some nice sutures on it, so I'll probably come back. All right, bit of a game for you all. I've spot the fossil. I'm hoping this one should be fairly straightforward, but I actually don't know what the species of ammonite is just yet. So, have you seen it? Right there. I think it's a grammar. If it will come up. Yeah. Oh, it is huge. That's awesome. This is my resting rock. And uh, as you can see, there's been a huge amount of movement again, uh, completely undercut all the way around. Uh, whereas before I've been able to sit on the little bench bit in the middle there. And uh, yeah, so a lot's moved. Um, but just to show you some things that are nearby, there's a lovely bit of fossil wood sticking here with bits of belemnite. And I saw what looked like a nice negative imprint right there of a little Gramoceros. So anyone who's seen the videos knows I spent a long time looking to try and find one of these ammonites in this sort of reddish colored stuff. And uh, Katie, who I'm with, has managed to get one that split really nicely. And I was trying to figure out what it is. Uh, I thought it was a Gramo, but this outer world is not Gramo-like. Uh, and these inner worlds don't look quite right. So it might be one of the much rarer things from higher up, uh, one of the Philseogramos or uh, something altogether different, but uh, that'll have to wait till she gets it prepped and I'm sure it'll show up on one of the Facebook pages eventually. Some nicely preserved Gramos, but what I got caught by is this one, this beautiful bivalve. And uh, yeah, sadly, uh, as much as I'd love to take that home, I don't think I could get that out without splitting it into loads of pieces, so it'll stay there. And another beautiful fallen block, actually, I really like this one. Uh, got bellonites, bivalves, you come down, you can see all the grammars kind of splattered across the top of it, and a few nodules still sticking out. 
Uh, I'm not going to dig all the nodules out, though. I suspect there's a good chance that some of these have some nice grammars in them. It's just not worth uh, the hauling out for me at the minute. But just a few bits to show off. Uh, sad uh, that it's not more complete. That's a fairly nice cedar. Uh, beach prep does this, but uh, because of the break, it's staying. And uh, a cedar, oh, no, a grandma multi block. I uh, might just give this one a tap, see if there's anything nice inside it. There's a keel there uh, and some more bits and pieces. So. And that's my luck with the, uh, the red blocks. <laughs> it's shockingly bad. And I hope someone is enjoying that if uh, they manage to find it. Uh, that's a hog year and a half, I say. Or would have been a hog year and a half. Just a cute little grandma, shouldn't take too much just to tidy that up, just take that middle bit out. Just got a few nodules I'm just going to tap open. Uh, it's a hildy, uh, although missing the bottom edge, but that bit should be okay, we'll see. Uh, this one, just see the edge of something, it might even be a bellamite phragmacone, but I'm going to give it a tap just to double check. And this, which doesn't look like much, but has what looks like a little pseudo there. So I'll give this a tap as well and just see. I'll be back with you in a second. The mixed bag, that first one, was rubbish. The Hildy is alright, the middle's not too bad. I might see if Katie wants it. Uh, but the thing that I thought was pseudos is in fact pseudos, and it's another little pseudo multi. So that one's alright, although it's got a split through it, so we'll have to tape that down. Uh, and then there's a little one there, another one there. Uh, so we'll take that back. I'm doing quite well for these pseudo multis. Um, sadly, the other side of it. Uh, there's not a lot we can do with it. There's this nice-ish looking bit. Sadly, it's only a partial. Uh, cute little Peronoceros species. Uh, you can just see some of those spines extending actually out into the matrix. Uh, so hopefully reasonably well preserved. Although, sadly, that bit exploded off as I was just trying to see what it was. Yeah, but nice. Katie having a bit of luck today. That's a nice little hog here. Uh, middle may just be there. Um, shame that rest of that world's not there, but uh, yeah, it's quite nice. Yeah, it's a pretty decent split on that uh, big grammo. Uh, very pyritic though, so it's going to be a bit of a pain in the butt to finish the prep on it. That's a big heartbreaker there, uh, sadly. Despite the fact it looked pretty good, and it's a good size, uh, middle wasn't there, even if uh, we could have found the rest of it. Sad. Yeah, there's loads of ammonites I don't have uh, from the Yorkshire coast, but the one that I'm chasing this year is a phyloceros, and this is a big chunk of one. They have this lovely leafy suture to them, and they come in really big sizes, as you can see. Yeah. But sadly, no complete ones today. Another all right little grammar. I'll just go in the bag as is. Yeah. That grammar block came apart quite nicely. There's some nice ones in this, although I'm not convinced any of these other ones are complete, maybe that one. Um, but this one, it's also quite nice. It's also got little bivalves just stuck on the side of it there. So, yeah, take that one as is. Uh, not the prettiest grammar I've ever seen, but I quite like the matrix with the really big shells on it. So, yep, we'll keep that one as well. Always nice when you're scrambling back across the bay to just look down and see something. Well, let's see what it is together, shall we? Ooh, a bit broken on the edge. I think it might be a poor poceros. Uh, just a bit of a shame about that. Uh, we'll probably take it anyway, just because I think it's sufficiently worthwhile just to see what the rest of it looks like. But yeah, the keels or the ridges go pretty much straight across the ribs, uh, which makes it look more like a porp than a paranoceros. So yeah, we'll take it. So nice hildy, it looks like here we've got hildy going around uh, and running on that plane along there. Uh, then I've got another bit of keel sticking up here and another bit of keel sticking up here. So I don't know if there's another hildy here that's damaged, broken, or if this is part of this one. I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to take it back because it's interesting. I don't have any double hildies, uh, at least no prep double hildies. And, but I'm not convinced this is going to be a great example if it is. On a bit of a roll with the uh, pseudo multi blocks today. Uh, so, this is another one. See one of the pseudos there, little one in the middle. Uh, nothing spectacular, uh, I don't believe, on this side. Um, 
but the other bit that's broken I actually really like it this is preserved in such a fantastic little bit of uh, calcite and the sutures are beautiful uh, there might be another one here um, so we'll take this one this one I might just tap again and just have a look at it uh, some other bits picked up oh come back yeah there it is so uh, a little paranoceros uh, it's pretty well preserved at least it tuned to be so we'll take that uh, and a little hildy so. Pseudos everywhere today. Uh, another one. Uh, the outer roll is completely gone, uh, but that inner bit looks all right. Um, so I might just see what we can do with that. Yeah, there's clearly been some falls. This first base got a lot more grammos in it than usual, and there's another block. I didn't really want another block, but I think this one might sit nicely because it's got not quite a flat bottom, but that can be made into a flat bottom. There's a grammo there with my thumb. There's another one there, and there's one in the top right up there. Uh, plus maybe some more in the middle. So I think that'll sit quite nicely. So I don't really want to take it back, but kind of feel like it should. Getting awfully closer to get out point now, uh, just doing last little bits of picking up where we can. Uh, this is a little piece of wood. Uh, you can just about see the rings coming through it there. Um, but it's coalified or carbonized uh, rather than jet, even though it kind of has that nice shiny appeal. Uh, it is nothing more than that. So it'll stay here. Uh, that's going to wrap us up here today at Raven's Car. It's been a pretty good day. Uh, it's nice to be back out. It's been a few weeks since I've been out because of the family holidays uh, and uh, yeah, just being a bit under the weather. Uh, but it's nice to be back out and I always love Raven's car. Uh, it tends to reward you if you work hard. Uh, and Katie had done a fantastic job today. She's got herself a uh, whole gear, a cat that we shared off camera, one of the red bed ammonites, which I'm not 100% sure what it is. So she's found a bunch of the rare things. Uh, me, eh, not so much, but uh, I got a bag full of grandmas uh, and one pretty big one, which I think might be one of the rarer upper level grammos. Uh, quite a few pseudo multi-blocks actually today, which is quite nice as well. Uh, so it's been a pretty good day for me. Uh, we, as a channel, have done really well this year. Uh, we started the year over a thousand subs. So uh, typically after I recorded my end of year video saying we haven't made it there, we cleared that about two days later. So uh, thanks everyone for subscribing and watching the videos as always. There will be a giveaway of one of the big Hildes uh, from my collection as a big thank you. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, as always, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know what you liked or didn't like, uh, and I'll catch you on the next hunt, which I'm hoping will be fairly soon.